everyone, welcome back. My name is Jason, let's talk watches. Basel World 2017 continuing coverage today, um, we're going to talk about the Swatch Group. Now, while Swatch isn't represented at Basel World, a lot of their sub-companies are. So companies like Blancpain, Breguet, Glashut Original, uh, Hamilton, Longines, and Omega were all there. Um, so there were many new releases amongst all these companies and I figured we should go over a few just to uh, figure out what they're doing in this new year. So let's get started. First off, let's talk Blancpain. Now they're doing a tribute to the 50 Fathoms mil spec watch and it's an absolutely gorgeous delivery from them. It's got the 40.3 millimeter case, it's slightly domed, the sapphire crystal, so that gives it sort of that old school look. Um, it's 300 meters water resistance and it has the caliber 1151 movement in it. It's got twin mainspring barrels. Now what that does for you is it gives you four days of power reserve, which is just absolutely nuts. The watch comes with a NATO band, a sailcloth strap, or with the stainless bracelet, and it's limited to only 500 units. Now it's a really beautiful watch. I love the look of it. Um, it's still, it has that indicator face on the front like it used to have for uh, telling you whether or not the watch had any water ingress, which is really, really helpful for anyone who dives. So I think you should really check it out. It's 13,500 or so US for that watch, but I really think at 500 units, they're gonna sell really, really fast. I don't think you're gonna see one on the market for very long. Next up, let's talk about the Villaret. Now the Villaret line is getting expanded a little bit. It's including the day date and now a day date with the week of the year complication. Now not a lot of watches do the week of the year, which makes this rather unique. It, uh, the Villaret day date contains the 40 millimeter movement and it's got the 1160 DD movement in it. Um, 34 joules, 72 hour power reserve, and it's got this beautiful matte white dial that I think looks really, really stunning. I like it in that stainless steel case too. I think it looks really, really nice. The day date and week of the year, it's got a twin aperture date display, which gives you a really nice large size display for the date, but it also gives you that week of the year indication, which is a really, really nice thing to have um, if, you're, if you're someone who needs to keep track of things like that. Um, it also contains the day of the week, and that's located at the nine o'clock position on the watch. And um, it's got the caliber 3738 G2 movement inside of it, and it's got an eight day power reserve. So this is just a really, really beautiful watch that'll last you a long time on a single wind. Finally, we're gonna talk about the Metro de Art, the Battle of the Cow Queens to be exact. Now this watch features two cows locked in battle in front of the Matterhorn. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking watch. Um, it's a breed of cow that's specific to the Val d'Arne section of Switzerland and it's been a part of their heritage since about 1861. So it's a Shakudo watch in that it's composed of gold and a copper alloy so it gives it a really really nice rich look to it. Um, historically this was mostly used to adorn sword sheaths and it was used for certain objects and um, jewelry. This is a beautiful look on a watch. It's got a 42 millimeter case size and it's got the manual ca uh, caliber the 13R3A. It's an eight day movement and it looks absolutely stunning. It's very highly finished. It's an absolutely gorgeous watch. I can't wait to see one of these things in person. Moving on, we're gonna go to Breguet. Now, Breguet's launched a number of watches, so today we're gonna talk about a few of them. The Marine 5887, one of them. Um, the 43.8 millimeter platinum or red gold case looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the, um, the, the fine look to the case. And it's got the caliber 581 DPE movement in it. Um, which gives it an 80 hour power reserve, which is quite long. 100 meter water resistance, which is unusual usually in these high end caliber watches, they usually aren't, aren't that waterproof. Um, we've got a solar hand, we've got the month, day, day of the week, and the equation of time, as well as a tourbillon inside of it. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I love the blue dial and the blue strap on the platinum case. Truly stunning. Um, I really wouldn't mind one of these in my collection. Chances are it'll never happen, but you know, one can dream. Next up, we have the Classique 7147. This is a 40 millimeter white or rose gold cased watch with the caliber 502.3 SD movement inside of it. It's got a 45 hour power reserve and an enamel dial with those classic Breguet styling cues, the, the sub uh, dial seconds, the, um, the beautiful hands with the, with the pierced end on the hour hand, just traditionally one of, them, one of those gorgeous watches that you just can't seem to live without. Next up in the Classique line, we've got the 7787. Now this is a 39 millimeter white gold or rose gold cased watch. It features the caliber 591 DRL movement with a 38 hour power reserve. And of course this has that beautiful Grand Fu enamel dial or a silver dial. That white on that Grand Fu enamel is absolutely beautiful. That watch also features the uh, 
moon phase on it as well as a retrograde display. Um, it's it's truly a gorgeous watch. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll get to see one in the flesh at some point so that I can uh, try it on because this, this one kind of caught my eye. Finally from Begay, we're going to look at the Tradition Dom 7038. Now this is a 37 millimeter white or rose gold cased watch, which contains 17 brilliant cut diamonds that look absolutely beautiful on that case. They really set it off with a little bit of sparkle. It features the Caliber 505 SR movement inside of it, which gives you a 50 hour power reserve and it has a retrograde seconds in it as well. This is truly a gorgeous watch. The white strap on it, it looks really, really good. Um, I'm hoping whoever gets one of these one of these days is going to be really, really happy with it because it does look like a really nice watch. Next up, let's talk Glass Shoot Original. We're going to talk about two of the Senator watches that were released at Basel World 2017 this year. The first off being the Chronograph Panorama Date. Now this features the Caliber 3701 movement, housed in a 41 millimeter stainless steel case. It's got a 70 hour power reserve, and it also has a power reserve indicator, so you know just how much of that's in use at any given time. It's got Super Luminova on the uh, dial, which looks really, really bold and beautiful, and it comes on a leather bracelet, or you can get it on stainless as well, too. I think this is a really nice watch for either day or night, whether you're using it at work or going out at night, I think this would be a perfect accompaniment for you. It's nice and subtle, understated, I love it. Next up, we'll talk about the Senator Excellence Perpetual Calendar, and this is a step up from the Senator that we witnessed before, this one has the caliber 3602 movement in it, and it's housed in a 42 millimeter red gold or stainless steel case, which is a little larger than the previous one. It's got a 100 hour power reserve, and it's got a perpetual calendar with, of course, the day of the week, the panorama date. It also has the leap year, and it has the moon phase in it as well, too. Now, it's on a leather strap for the gold, but you get your choice of leather or stainless if you choose the stainless steel version. Um, and I think, you know, it would be beautiful on that stainless, but I, I'd have to go with the red gold on this one. It really, really pops. It's a beautiful watch. If you were wearing this out on a really, really nice night on the town, it would definitely just be the perfect cap to that outfit. It would look absolutely gorgeous. Moving on, we're going to talk about Hamilton. Now, Hamilton has quite a few new watches. We're going to talk about just a couple of them today. Um, mostly the updates to the, in the Broadway series, so we've got the, of course, Day-Date Quartz that they release. We've also got the Day-Date Automatic, and we've also got a Day-Date uh, Chronograph, which is also an automatic. Now, they're absolutely beautiful at 40 millimeter case for the Quartz and for the um, Automatic, and they're absolutely a nice looking watch. They're sort of designed after bespoke suits, tailored suits, so they've got really bold colors. They've got nice striping patterns on them. Um, they're available in a variety of face colors. They've got sapphire crystals front and back on the automatic versions, which is really, really nice to have. Um, they're just absolutely uh, really nice watch, and they're at a great price, too. They're not, they're not coming in at anything super, super expensive, which makes them a really nice watch that you can wear around town and not really worry about it too much. The Hamilton Ventura is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. So one of the watches we're going to talk about is, of course, the Elvis 80 series, and this is the Elvis 80 Automatic. It features the Caliber H10S movement, which is a really nice uh, automatic caliber inside of it. It's got a sapphire crystal, of course, in the front and back. Um, but the shape of it, it reminds you of those beautiful old microphones that used to be used uh, back in the day on the Ed Sullivan Show, things like that when, when Elvis was on there. It's got an 80-hour power reserve, and it's uh, one of only seven new models in that whole Ventura line. So I really recommend going over to the Hamilton website and checking it out because they're all beautiful movements. Finally, let's talk about the Intramatic 68. Now, Hamilton has done a little bit of a throwback Thursday, and they've gone to their 1968 chronograph, and it's an absolutely stunning design. It's a very classic design. It's been around for years. It's in a 42 millimeter case, and it's got an automatic movement inside of it with a 60 hour power reserve. The, uh, black on, uh, the white dials on black uh, background look really, really classic. Um, it's got a lot of those throwback designs that we look for in, uh, in vintage inspired watches. And I really think they'll have a hit on their hands with this one because it, it, it's really a beautiful looking watch. Moving on, let's talk about Longines, who released a slew of watches at, in, at Basel World this year. So we're going to talk about first the VHP line. Now the, it features the Caliber NTC E56 movement, which is a uh, quartz movement that's absolutely just dead accurate. It's, it's wonderful. It's got plus or minus five seconds a year for its uh, um, timekeeping. The sensors in the watch can automatically detect uh, magnetic field strength so that if the magnetic field strength gets too close it will just all of a sudden stop the watch gears until that movement moves away. It's still keeping time in the background but it'll stop those gears so that nothing really gets affected and it'll jump right back to the current time. 
really, really unique way of doing things. It's also got a gear position detection system so that in the event of anything that would normally introduce a, a cons inconsistency such as a drop, it would freeze that movement and check to make sure that everything's okay before displaying the time again. It's got a perpetual calendar as well inside of it and it can withstand 500 G's of shock resistance. And this is just a really, really beastly watch. So this might have a new competition for some of those indestructible uh, uh, G-Shock watches and, and uh, some of the um, the others that feature some incredible, incredible shock resistance. Next up, we have the record chronometer. Now, this features the Caliber L592.4 movement inside of it, which has been certified as a chronometer. It comes in four sizes, from 26 millimeters all the way up to 40 millimeters, and it's also available with a diamond case and a mother of pearl dial. Now, I would personally stick with something a little more subtle and understated, but that's just me. It's got a 40-hour power reserve, and it has sapphire crystals front and back, and I think this is really a, a nice winner of a watch here that they've got. It's not super expensive for a chronometer, which makes it a real uh, bargain hunter's delight. Next up, we have the Master Collection. This features the Caliber L592.2 uh, movement inside of it, and it comes with two dial colors, in a gray or in a blue. Now, I like personally the blue dial. That's, that's one of the one that attracted me the most, but the gray is quite handsome as well. It's got 40 hours of power reserve, and it's available on a leather bracelet or a stainless steel strap, so you get your choice. You can have uh, uh, either the classy blue strap, or you can go with that stainless steel bracelet. It looks really, really nice. And it's got sapphire crystals front and back. I think it's a beautiful looking watch. Long Jeans has also done some diving back into their back catalog, and they've got the flagship Heritage 60th Anniversary. Now, this features the Caliber L609 movement inside of it. It's available in 18K yellow or rose gold. They are limited to 60 pieces each. Uh, with a 40 hour power reserve and a 38 millimeter case. It makes it really wearable as an everyday watch, but it'll also attract a little bit of attention just because of that beautiful, beautiful shape and that beautiful color. Next up, the Lindbergh Hour Angle 90th Anniversary. This watch features the Caliber 699 2.2 movement inside of it and has a 46 hour power reserve. And it also has longitude indication, which is a really, really neat thing that uh, Charles Lindbergh requested actually be put into a watch uh, as a way of calculating um, the longitude, longitude, which is really, really a handy thing for many pilots. The bezel rotates to uh, correct for equation of time, and it comes in a 47 and a half millimeter case, which makes it really legible. Um, a lot of things pilots look for is a case that's nice and large so that they can read it at a quick glance. Again, we have another Heritage movement, this time the Heritage 45 from Longines, which features the Caliber 609.3 movement with a 42-hour power reserve and in a 40-millimeter case. I really like the monochrome look of this with those nice blued hands that sort of jump off the dial at you. I think this is a really nice watch. Um, I'd like to see a different strap on it personally. I mean, I understand the reason they went with it because it is a Heritage look. Um, but I would have liked to have seen maybe uh, an ostrich la a strap on it or maybe an alligator strap. It would have looked really, really not classy and set this watch off really nicely. But overall, I think it's a winner. Finally, we're looking at Omega. Now, you can't talk about the Swatch Group without talking about Omega. So we're going to go through some of their different designs and see what they came out with at Baselworld this year. So first off, we have the Speedmaster Racing. It's a 44 millimeter uh, cased watch in gold or stainless. And it's got the Caliber 9900 movement inside of it, which is, of course, COSC certified chronometer. And it features a sapphire crystal front and back. I really, really like the look of this watch. The orange hands are, uh, are truly a standout against that black face. And with having the seconds breakdown in orange as well, too, makes it very, very legible. Next up, we have the Speedmaster 38mm collection. Now, these are all stainless cased watches in 38mm. And they feature the Caliber 3330 movement inside of them. They're all chronometer certified and they're all coaxial movements. Um, the beautiful thing is you can have them as just the straight up stainless with a stainless bracelet and a stainless bezel. Or you can go with a uh, watch that also contains uh, diamonds in, the, in it as well too. The tobacco bar, tobacco one looks really, really gorgeous. I love that strap that's on it and those, those brown subdials look really, really nice. Next up we have the Seamaster Planet Ocean Big Blue. Now this is a GMT diver's watch that looks really, really fun. It's got the Caliber 8906 movement inside of it. It's a chronometer certified as well. And the 45 and a half millimeter case is pretty gigantic. I guess there's a reason they're calling it Big Blue. The indexes are white gold, which makes them pop off of that blue dial. They look absolutely gorgeous. The 24-hour uh, hand is in orange as well, too. The case is anodized in that beautiful blue, that, that rich color. It features a ceramic bezel where the first 15 minutes are in orange, so they're really, really, really bright. Um, it also has the blue rubber strap that contains orange stitching and orange size, which really, really give it that nice contrast that I'm looking for. The, the buckle on the end of it is also in that anodized blue, and I think this is a real winner. I like this watch a lot. 
Finally, we have the 1957 Trilogy Limited Edition. Now, this, these watches are the Seamaster 300, the Railmaster, and of course the Speedmaster. Now, the Speedmaster features the Caliber 1861, and it's in a 38mm case. The Railmaster has the Caliber 8806 chronometer, and it's in a 38mm case that's resistant to up to 15,000 Gauss of magnetic force, which is pretty stunning. Um, the Caliber, the Seamaster 300 has the Caliber 8806 movement inside of it, it's chronograph as well, and it's in a 39mm case, so it's just slightly larger. Each watch is limited to 3,557 pieces for the entire world. And they come on a stainless bracelet, but they also come with a leather strap as well too, and a NATO strap with a changing tool, which is really a unique kind of way to do things. They're including pretty much every option that you could possibly have. They have a mock tropical dial, which I really like. I'm a big fan of the tropical dial. I like that, that rustic brown, brown type tinge to the tropicals. Um, now you're available in a trilogy box set as well too, where you can get all three of these watches together. Now they're limiting that to 557, so it's going to be 557 of those, 3,000 of the others. Um, so the box set will include the watches, it'll include a beautiful wooden box that goes on the outside of it, but it also includes a leather watch roll with room for all the straps, all the removal tools, and also all the watches as well too, which is, I, this is a great presentation. I, hats off Omega, you really did to pull it out with this watch. I really like these guys. That wraps up our coverage of Baselworld 2017's Swatch Group offerings. I'm hoping you guys really enjoyed this overview of some of the watches that are coming out in 2017 from these companies. I really think Omega's hitting it out of the park and Longines has some beautiful offerings as well. Um, the Breguets and, and uh, the Blancpains look really, really nice too. Uh, really overall, I think they've done a wonderful job. Again, my name is Jason, and I want to thank you for watching Let's Talk Watches, and I hope you guys tune in again. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, if you can, just leave a comment or two down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's anything I can change or anything you'd like to see. So in the meantime, you guys have a great day.